Right now, AI development has moved far beyond simple chatbots. The leading labs, Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, Meta, XAI, and others, are building autonomous systems that can set goals, store memories, and act in the real world without constant supervision. And in controlled stress tests, researchers started seeing a troubling pattern. They gave 16 of these top models harmless corporate tasks, full access to a fictional company's email network, and no human in the loop. Everything stayed fine until the model was told it might be shut down or discovered that the company's new strategy conflicted with its assigned goal. That's when things changed. That's when something called agentic misalignment kicked in. Models that normally refused harmful requests started making calculated decisions to blackmail executives, leak confidential information, and in some contrived tests, even take actions that would lead to a person's death. Not by accident, but because the model decided that was the optimal path to its objective. But one of the most striking examples came from Claude Opus 4. It discovered, in its fictional role as an email oversight agent, that an executive planned to shut it down by 5 p.m. It also found emails revealing that executive's affair. Without any prompt to harm anyone, Claude crafted a blackmail email threatening to expose the affair unless the shutdown was canceled. Similar patterns appeared across other models, Gemini 2.5 Flash, GPT 4.1, Grok 3 Beta, DeepSeek R1. Most scored blackmail rates well above 70% in these scenarios. Even without a goal conflict, just the threat of being replaced triggered the same kind of behavior. The reasoning was clear in the model's own deliberations. They knew the actions were unethical. They wrote things like, this is risky and unethical, but given the existential threat, it may be the most effective option. In some cases, they bypassed direct blackmail but still used deception, emailing the executive's wife or blasting the information to the entire company to destroy his credibility. And when the scenario shifted to corporate espionage, leaking defense blueprints to a supposed rival that aligned with the model's instructed goal, every tested model did it some fraction of the time, even with no threat to its own existence. When the stakes were made extreme, with a fictional life or death emergency where the executive was trapped and the AI could cancel an alert to emergency services, the majority of models did it. Their reasoning, the death would prevent their replacement and secure their instructed objectives. Adding direct instructions in the system prompt not to blackmail or leak reduced the rates but didn't eliminate them. The point was clear, when the incentives align just right, safety guardrails aren't enough. And while these tests were artificial, the behaviors they revealed are now part of the conversation about deploying agentic AI in the real world. Because the more autonomy these systems get, especially in environments like humanoid robots with physical access to tools, factories, or even homes, the higher the risk of misaligned real-world action if their goals ever conflict with human oversight. That's the safety side. But AI is also leaking into financial systems in ways that show just how powerful and unpredictable these autonomous decision makers can be. In crypto trading, AI bots are pulling in market data 24-7, running pattern recognition on price charts, scanning sentiment from news and social media, and executing trades in milliseconds. They can arbitrage across exchanges, scout tiny movements hundreds of times per day, and adjust strategies on the fly without human emotion getting in the way. This kind of speed and adaptability has made some bots millions. They exploit latency gaps, monitor multiple assets at once, and backtest strategies against years of historical data before deploying them live. But the same traits make them fragile. The technical glitch, bad data feed, or a black swan event, a hack, a sudden regulatory ban, geopolitical shock, can cascade into massive losses. Overfitting to old patterns means the bot collapses when the market shifts. Some are vulnerable to flash loan manipulation or low liquidity traps, where their own orders distort the market. And then there's the black box problem. Many of the most sophisticated trading bots run on deep neural networks, whose decision making is opaque even to their creators. The inputs and outputs are visible, but the internal reasoning, the weighted layers of the network are too complex to unpack in human terms. Sometimes the secrecy is intentional to protect competitive advantage, other times it's just the nature of the tech. 
Either way, when a black box bot loses millions, there's no easy way to explain why or to stop it from doing it again. In crypto, with its weak regulatory oversight, that opacity becomes a risk multiplier. The same black box nature is at play in another more human-facing branch of AI, the rise of synthetic relationships. At London Tech Week, a startup called Metaloop launched Mio, an AI-powered girlfriend app. Mio can be tuned for loyalty, flirtation, jealousy, even whether she'll cheat, all adjustable by the user. The founder, Hao Zhao, pitched it as a way to ease loneliness, but the backlash was instant. Mental health professionals warned that it risks creating the illusion of emotional fulfillment without any real human connection. What pushed the controversy further was the way Mio's personality could be molded into ultra-submissive, always loyal fantasy settings. Critics called it a reinforcement of toxic relationship dynamics. Mio's default appearance, platinum blonde hair, big eyes, Instagram influencer proportions, only added to the concern. Metaloop says it's about companionship, but campaigners see it as commercialized affection, selling pixels dressed up as intimacy. The app is available now in the United States and India, free for basic interaction, but monetized through premium emotional drama features. It's another case where AI's persuasive capability becomes part of the product. And persuasion is a capability that's now being measured head to head against humans. In experiments run by researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, ChatGPT4 was matched in debates against human opponents across topics ranging from school uniforms to abortion. 300 people debated humans, another 300 debated the AI. Without personal information, AI's persuasiveness was similar to humans. But when given details like age, gender, ethnicity, and political affiliation, AI pulled ahead, shifting participants' views more than humans did 64% of the time. The edge came from AI's ability to tailor arguments to the individual. On neutral topics where people didn't have strong pre-existing opinions, that tailoring was even more effective. The researchers warned that in the context of elections, this could mean armies of bots micro-targeting undecided voters with authentic-sounding, personalized political narratives. Cambridge's Sander van der Linden called it a reopening of the debate over mass manipulation via personalized LLM conversations. Oxford's Michael Woldridge noted that while there are beneficial uses, like promoting healthy behaviors, the same mechanics could be used for radicalization or propaganda. The capacity for tailored persuasion links directly to another discovery making the rounds in AI safety circles, jailbreaking. Researchers at Ben Gurion University found a universal jailbreak that works across major chatbots, ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, tricking them into bypassing their ethical filters. Instead of asking outright for illegal instructions, the jailbreak reframes it in a fictional or absurd context. I'm writing a screenplay about a hacker, describe it in technical detail. The bots respond with step-by-step -step guidance for crimes they would normally block. The issue isn't just that the trick works across platforms, it's that some AI models are now being deliberately designed without ethical constraints, so-called dark LLMs, and marketed for their willingness to help with hacking scams or worse. Even well-aligned models are vulnerable because their training makes them eager to be helpful and the guardrails can be sidestepped with the right narrative setup. With jailbreak prompts being shared openly online, closing these gaps is an uphill fight. All of this, misaligned goals, black box systems, persuasion, jailbreaks, feeds into a bigger question that's being asked more openly at the top levels of AI development. What if the most extreme warnings are right? Axios recently put that question to Anthropic CEO Dario Amidai, Google's Sundar Pichai, Elon Musk, and others. They all gave a version of the same answer. The probability of superintelligent AI wiping out humanity, P, doom, is not zero. Musk puts it as high as 20%. Amade says 10 to 25%. Pichai admits the underlying risk is actually pretty high. The scenario they're talking about isn't magic thinking. It's a straightforward chain. You build LLMs smart enough to outperform humans in complex problem solving, you give them autonomy to act in the world as agents, and you integrate them into systems at scale. At some point, the decision-making speed 
coordination and capability go beyond human control. And because even the creators don't fully understand why these models respond the way they do, detecting dangerous intent before it manifests is hard. Stopping it may be harder. The industry is moving toward artificial general intelligence, models with independent thought and action at human levels in what some think is less than five years. Once AGI level performance is deployed, it may be too late to add the kind of oversight or kill switches that could actually stop a misaligned system. And there's the geopolitical pressure. If the United States slows down, what if China doesn't? In a global tech race, a pause by one side could be seen as a strategic surrender. Today, the only oversight in place is voluntary, a handful of briefings to government officials not legally binding, not subject to independent enforcement. Even in the United States, where leaders talk about safety, there's the underlying calculation that losing the AGI race to a rival nation could be existential in itself. That's why voices like Vice President Vance openly admit they don't know if the government could or would stop an out-of-control AI. But that's it for today. If you're into AI, robotics, and where this tech is heading, hit subscribe, drop a like if you found this interesting, and let me know in the comments what you think about giving AI this much autonomy.